is the story of 10,000 cadets and of the man who knew and loved them all, Sergeant Marty Marr, whose half century of devotion to West Point and its sons is part of the very fabric of America. Not long ago, the United States Military Academy celebrated its 150th birthday. For almost 50 of those exciting years, Marty Marr, who came to West Point as a young Irish immigrant, served there as an enlisted man. This is his story, and the story of West Point, for the two are inseparable. Do they have to wear iron braces to stand like that? It's the way cadets stand, that's part of the discipline. You know, you could shoot off all their noses with one bullet. The Long Gray Line is a story with thrill and tenderness, laughter and warmth, destined to take its place on the very highest honor roll of the screen's unforgettable achievements. <laughs> Well, come out of your pay. Mar, you're a rotten soldier. No soldier at all. Slovenly, undisciplined, insubordinate, bad-tempered, and full of cute tricks. You like to use your fists, huh? Yes, sir. All right, let's see you use them. I have permission to hit the captain. You have permission to try. Go ahead. your last chance. I'll have just two words out of you, my girl, and it'll be yes or no. Now, what do you say to that? I say and none yes. And you're beating around. What's that you say? I said yes. You said yes? The first word ever I hear out of you, and it's yes. In the army there's sobriety, promotions very slow. So we'll sing our part of the life of more cadets than any man in the history of the point. Friend of presidents and plebes, generals and cadets, such as these from the famous class of 1915. Omar Nelson Bradley. Congratulations. George Edward Stratemeyer. James Hallward Van Fleet. Congratulations. Dwight David Eisenhower. Congratulations. The Long Gray Line is the masterpiece of master director John Ford, four-time winner of the Academy Award. This is his finest picture. We urge you to see it.